If you're in Canada right now on a visitor's visa watching this video today, I want you to help me drop a word of recommendation or a word of advice for our fellow immigrant planning to come to Canada in 2024 on a visitor's visa. A lot of people are planning to come, you know, spending millions you know, to get a visitor's visa to come to Canada in 2024 with the goal or with the plan to change it to a work permit. So now I want you to drop how you survived or how you are surviving right now as a visitor's visa holder in this country. You know, are your tips and tricks, I think it's going to help a lot of people out there watching this video. My name is Taiwan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching my video, don't forget to click on the like and the subscribe button. If your plan is to come to Canada in 2024 with the hope or plan to change it to a work permit, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of energy, like waste of everything. We all have our reasons to travel. I always say this, migration is a personal decision. Like to migrate from one particular country, from your country. I'm in Nigeria. I'm right here in Canada. I have my own reason of moving out. And everybody, you watching my own, you, you watching this video, I have your own reason. That is why you want to move out. Or that is why you move out from your country. But if your plan is to move out to a better country, to Canada, in, now in 2024, I will advise you, come with a valid work permit. Like, maybe it's a student, student study permit, maybe a PR, maybe a foreign worker. There are so many other ways to come, apart from... Uh, uh, visitors visa or conference visa or you know uh, tourist visa anyone that that agent want to do for you canada lmi they see they will ask you i don't worry you look for a company a company will file lmi for you see company filing lmi it's it's a past glory see it's a past lie Four or five years ago, any mushroom coming in, like any one's kiosk, you know, or one shop, once you can just create a company, then within two months, look, you know, apply for an LMI with that uh, company, with that business name and everything, and they will give you an LMI. That is how it is before. Like before. Four, five years, six years ago, anybody can apply, any company can apply for an LMI job. You don't really need much document to submit. It is free. Any companies here in Canada, they can just apply. It is free. They are not getting anything. They are not paying anything. And within a few months, IRCC will give them the document. A lot of these companies misuse those opportunities. Like they misuse those opportunity, selling LMIs, and it's because of the desperation of people. Like people will be like, oh, instead of giving it for for free, the same thing happens in UK. The COS stuff, COS in UK is also free. The same thing in Canada. See, LMI is free. Even on IRCC website, it, there is a public note that, that states that if they find out that you buy this LMIA, then you and that company will be banned. I think it's five years or ten years banned. But people will be like, some, you know, some people will just go to me, the company, like, hey, instead of giving this LMIA for free, we'll give you $5,000. Then we'll give you someone to you know, uh, to work with you. Now, the company, 
those companies will now have extra. Instead, you know, it was free. So they will now have 5K in their pocket with that someone to work for, you know, the same thing is the same pay and everything. Later on, it becomes, uh, no, I don't need 5K again. I have another person that will give me 10K. Then you give them 10K, 10,000 Canadian dollar. Then also someone. Later, it becomes 15, it becomes 20. Then until they misuse those opportunities, that LMI opportunity. Right now, it is very hard for <laughs> For a company to apply for LMI, even the IRCC will not even grant it. They will not even grant it. Like, like they will just look at you. Like, if ten companies apply for LMI, it is maybe just one will get it. People are still saying, you know, LMI come to Canada. LMI, I'll say it. LMI is not like before anymore like it is not like before and most companies will not give someone see even if you are here on visitors visa let's just be like you are here on visitors visa it is very hard to even look, see a company that will give you issue you an lmi they will prefer to look for a student. Because I, I'll tell you something. Last year, the immigration minister announced that there is no more postgraduate work permit for international students. Like no extension anymore. Most majority of these students, their postgraduate work permit is just a few months. Some people maybe like one year to expired or two years. What are they looking for? They don't want to go back home. And the next option is to look for an LMI job. Now, the competition, that is one of the reasons why LMI competition now goes higher. Like, as a visitor's visa, you are not even competing with anybody. Uh, you, you are not even competing with your fellow visitor's visa. Sorry. You are also competing with students. And most come See, if you are... You know, you own a company. Who will you choose? You will always want to look, uh, go for a student because a student already have the Canadian experience that you need. That is it. Most company will not prefer to go for student. That is one of the reason why it is very hard for a visitor's visa to get to switch to a work permit. Right now in Canada, the unemployment rate is high. See, Canadians are looking for job. Like, if you are coming to Canada on a visitor visa, just look at the competition that's ahead of you. Canadians are looking for job. Like the real Canadian born citizen been here for the unemployment is high. Canadians are looking for job. Do you know who they are blaming? They are blaming the mass immigration, like the immigrant. They are blaming the student. They are blaming a lot of you that you're coming. That you, you are the reason why they could not get a job. People on PR, the PR permanent resident, like the people that they spend thousands of dollars to get a permanent resident, now they are in Canada. They could not get a job. Permanent, see, there is no special job for permanent residents. Some people don't even know. Like, okay, maybe if you are a permanent resident, there is one job waiting for you in Canada. You will also also like the fellow people, immigrants, like your fair, the, like like the normal people here, yeah, like the Canadians, like everybody. You also apply. They are looking for jobs. People on foreign worker permits are looking for jobs. You know, like all those Ukrainians, Canadians, Canada gave a lot of Ukrainians uh, open work permits. Like 
they gave them, I don't know, maybe it's 500,000 or 1 million Ukrainians. I don't know. I, I, I can't recall the numbers. Open work permits. A lot of them are here looking for jobs. Hmm? Students, they are here looking for jobs. With so, so many other status, like work permit status. I don't even know. Canada has a lot of work permits. Different names. Until you are there, that is where you know. People are bridging open work permits. Like, that is another thing, you know, bridging open work permits. Like, different op work permits. They have, Canada has so many different names, like different categories of work permits. They are here looking for jobs. Then now, you. No, you don't have, you are not entitled to work in Canada because you are here as just to, to visit or just for a tourist, you know, to go back then you are also looking for job. You don't have the, 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 the SIN. You don't have the, the, uh, what's it called, the status to work. You need to compete with all these people. And company would prefer to go for all these people I mentioned earlier before you. That is just it. And that is the meaning of LMIA. The reason for uh, LMI is because before you could even apply for an LMI, before a company could apply for an LMI, you know, they will have shown that they have searched everywhere and they could not get that person to fill, anybody to fill that position. That is why they, you know, the LMI was created because, okay, the, you know, shortage of people in trade and whatsoever. But right now, that is why they created the LMI. And before a company, before they will issue an LMI certification for any company, they will have shown that they have searched everywhere. They will have posted on uh, Job Bank, posted on Indeed, look everywhere for people to occupy that position. And if they could not get, that is when they will now look for someone out there. You know, then the, the, that is when they will now go back to the government and tell them, hey, we could not get anybody for this position. Or please, issue us an LMI. They want to bring someone from abroad, you know, to occupy this position. That is it. Now the government is now realized that, hey, a lot of people are misusing this opportunity. A lot of companies are misusing the opportunity. Now, it is almost impossible to get an LMI job. And that is just it. You just have to come with a plan. I will always say this, you have to come with a plan. I'm not stopping anybody from coming to Canada, but <laughs> it's not easy. If you are in Canada watching my video, you know, on a visitor's visa, I beg, please, just drop a word of advice. A word of, say, no, good or bad. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, uh, you know, I'm not telling you, I'm not saying you maybe discourage or any, just your life, how you're coping right now, you know, here on a visitor's visa in this country, you know, your life, how you, your, how you survive and all that, good or bad, please drop it. My name is Taiwo and I will see you on the next one. If you have any comment or anything to, you know, share with me, just go ahead and drop it as a comment and definitely I'll read it and get back to you and reply to your questions. So, and I will definitely see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.